I'll show you how to swap crypto in Uniswap wallet. So come down to the bottom right hand side of the app where it says swap, click this, and then we get the swap feature here. If you need to know how to set up Uniswap wallet, how to manage your seed phrase and everything else, I'll leave the full tutorial guide down in the description. But from here, we can go ahead and swap. So the main thing we need to know is that when we carry out a transaction on a blockchain, we need to pay a transaction fee known as gas. And depending on which network that you're using, the way that you pay gas may be different. So on the right hand side where it says BNB, I'm going to click this. And then on the right hand side where it says search tokens, you can see all these different networks. You may be using a different network to me. But whichever network that you're using, you need some of the gas coin on that network to pay for the transaction fee. Ethereum, Unichain, Arbitrum, Optimism, Base, they all use ETH for gas. So you need ETH on that network to pay for the transaction. If you're using a different network like BNB Chain, you need BNB Coin, Avalanche, you need AVAX and so on. So make sure that you know what network that you're using and that you have some of the gas coin on that network. So for me, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna swap on the BNB chain. So I need some BNB coin in my wallet and you can see I've got some right here. But I'm gonna go over to my centralized exchange and then send that into my wallet first. So if you scroll down here, up at the top, you can see your wallet address. So go and send some of the coin that you want to swap uh, to, into your wallet address. So you can use the layer one coin both for the transaction fee and as value to swap into other coins. I can go over to my centralized exchange and get some of the layer one coin and send it out into my Uniswap wallet so that I can pay for gas fees. And I can also use that as value to trade into other tokens as well. So I've got some BNB coin here. I'm gonna press withdraw and I'm gonna send via crypto network. Every single centralized exchange is the same. If you're using a different network and you're buying ETH, go over to your centralized exchange, buy the ETH, withdraw via crypto network like this. Up at the top, it's going to say, where do you want to send it? So I'm gonna paste in my Uniswap wallet address, and then it says which network do you want to use? I'm gonna use a BNB Smart Chain. If you're using ETH, you might be using the ETH mainnet or base or one of the other scaling layers or Unichain or anything that you want. So just choose the network that you want to use and your address is the address of your Uniswap wallet. Send out the gas coin into your wallet so you can pay for transaction fees. If you want to use that as value to trade into other coins as well, you can do that at the same time. And also leave some video guides on the centralized exchanges I use. If you wanna know how to use them, buy crypto on there, withdraw it. That's all for those videos down in the description. I'll leave some deposit and trading bonuses to the exchanges I use down there as well. Back in Uniswap wallet, once we have some of the gas coin, we can now go ahead and trade on the network that we're using. So with the swap feature, you can actually bridge between networks as well, depending on the network that you're using. So I'll show you here, if I go to BNB in the top right, I'm gonna choose ETH on the base network that I have. You can see I've got some very small amount of ETH on the base network. So I'm gonna click that and it says swapping on base. It swapped the network for me automatically. So now I'm on the base network. I have some ETH on the base network and I can swap that into another token on the base network. However, if I press select token as well, base, is supported for cross-chain swaps. So up at the top here, we have a list of the main assets on base that most people trade to, ETH, USDC, and wrapped ETH. But down here, it also says swap across networks. So let's say I've got some ETH on the base network, but I want to bridge it over a different uh, to a different network. So I'm gonna choose Arbitrum, for example, and now you can see base to Arbitrum. So what I'm doing now is not actually swapping the coin, I'm basically bridging it. Now there will be a small fee here, but you can go ahead and choose an amount if you've got the amount in there. And as you can see, there is definitely a very small fee that I have to pay here. So I'm bridging one ETH over from base and I get a slightly smaller amount on the Arbitrum network. That's the fee that I pay in ETH because ETH is the gas on the base network. They'll take that fee out of my transaction, but that is how you bridge firstly. So if you've got assets on one chain, you wanna bridge it to another, you can do that in the swap feature as well. Now we can go ahead and swap one coin for another. In the top right, choose the coin that you have that you want to sell. So I'm gonna choose BNB coin here, like this. And then down at the bottom, you want to choose the coin that you wanna swap into. So these coins up here, these are trusted major coins on the network that you're using, and Uniswap has vetted these. However, you can see there's a bunch of other coins as well. So which one should you use if you're searching for them? Well, you can search via name, but the problem with that is that you get a bunch of different tokens as well, which could be different than the one that you actually want, or they could even be scams. So what we need to do is go to a trusted token registry, search for the token and get the contract address. So go over to something like CoinMarketCap or CoinGecko. So as you can see, this is the CoinGecko main page. I'm gonna to go to USDT, I'm gonna to go to info, and then down here, you can see the contract address of this token on all of these different networks. And this is a trusted registry, so I know these token addresses are correct. I'm gonna to go to Ethereum here just to show you. So I'm gonna copy the Ethereum contract address for USDT. Back in Uniswap wallet, I can actually just paste this in. 
So I'm gonna search all networks like this, just to show you. And then right here, I'm gonna search for the token address by pasting it in. And it sh uh, shows me that it has searched for Tether USD. And I know because I've searched for the specific contract address, this is the token that I wanna swap into, Tether USD, uh, USD. Now this is on the Ethereum network, and so I can't swap from BNB chain to Ethereum network. But just to show you that whatever network that you're using and the token, get the contract address, paste it in, and then you can be 100% sure that you're swapping into the coin that you want to actually buy. Once you've chosen the two tokens that you want to swap, we can go ahead with the transaction. So I'm gonna swap 0.01 BNB, and that's gonna switch into USDT, which the exchange rate is around $5.80. I'm gonna pay some gas, as you can see here, around 15 cents as well. So I'm gonna review. Right here it says swap, so I'm gonna make sure that we do that. You can see the review here, what you're swapping. I'm gonna press swap, and the gas fee is around 15 cents, although it may be a little bit lower than that by the time it goes through, and it's swapped already. So now you can see I have reduced some of the balance of BNB coin, and I have a uh, balance now of Tether USD. If you need the full tutorial guide for Uniswap Wallet, that's down in the description. Some deposit and trading bonuses to the exchanges I use will be down there as well. I'm James, it's Money ZG. Cheers for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.